Okay, welcome back to Foley is Good. <laughs> Get it? That's the Mick Foley book. Uh, except in this case, Moly is crap. Uh, this is... This level is the bane of my life right now. <clears throat> Basically, Saturday, I did episode 10, 11, 12. And then as you'll see in 12, or have seen in 12 probably by this point, I got hugely pissed off at the end with this game. So, uh... I kind of had figured out where to go and stuff and then kept dying. So now, uh, this time I'm going to try and get through the end of this level, because I'm basically quite close to the end. Uh, I just, for some reason, could not do this. Kept dying, kept falling. I got to, like, right where I was supposed to be. I'll show you in a minute when I get there. And I died repeatedly. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how it goes this time. You might see me rage again. One bat down. And I know there's a second one of you homos. Oh, you're in there. Oh, what are you, glitching through the rock? Okay. Let's see how we do. i got to stop jumping around because shit like that happens. And then, then Molly gets pissed. I have just been watching a stream. oh my god. I've just been watching a streamer play this. And I put it on and he was basically at this point. Which was funny. I kinda ruined it by uh... By dying. Oh, by using the save crystal, where I was at the beginning of this game. And then just not exploring this as I should have done. Piece of uh, piece of rock down. So, uh, how's everyone been? Oh, please don't fall down somewhere you're not supposed to. This level is really it's it's been horrible for me. Come on, you twat. I don't know, uh... Someone said on the Metal Gear Solid playthrough that they really hate the automatic dimming of the game audio. And I know most of you said, oh, it's fine and whatever, but... Do you guys, does anyone else find that annoying? Because I think it's like the best part about using the Elgato is the, uh, the auto dim. Okay, here is one time where uh, I just without looking jumped down there, which is back at the beginning of the level. I didn't take the time to look to the right here. And then there is another part coming up. Crocodile, turn around. You missed me, you little twat. Oh god, you're right behind me, though. Ah, <laughs> you still missed me. So that was one area. And then this bit right here. God, this was annoying. I, uh, I did not see the jump part. So I fell right down there again. Right to the beginning of the level. Come on, come back. So, please make this jump. 
Because this is the last lead bar that I need to get. And it's right here. Yes! I got it. And there's a save crystal! So now I can consider myself never having to do that fucking spike room again. Because that was the last place that I had saved. And uh, I I'm not kidding you, I spent a lot of Saturday. I must have done this like six or seven times. Just the same bit, failing and fail. Oh my god, you're right underneath me. Oh, what are you doing? Chasing my shadow? Chase it. Ooh. Uh, how can I get down without these knob jobs attacking me as soon as I fall? Oh god, don't die, Lara. Please don't die. Although I have only saved there, so you can die however you want. Is this? Oh, this is the room that has the switch that opens the gardens. Okay. So now we're gonna go and see Midas's hand. Which I think is this way. Pretty certain it is. It's not up, it's down. I think there might be some monkeys over here, maybe. Oh yes, there they are, the monkeys. Monkeys down. <laughs> Luckily in this bit I do remember. Even without watching the guy just streaming it. That medipack is kind of obvious. They do kind of... They show you the way to go with the medipacks. And here's Midas's tomb, I guess it is. I assume this was once a statue of Midas, but look at his feet! Look how clunky they are! He's got like club feet. Alright, let's go and save this. Ooh, that was lucky. Guess it's a running jump then. Oh, I'm so happy that this level is nearly over. All right, I'm just for old times' sake. If any of you have never seen this death, I'm doing it for you. Oh shit, I missed. Oh well, we'll do it from this platform then. Uh oh. Oh, what's going on? Lara's just turned into the... biggest titted Oscar, Oscar statue of all time. It's probably one of the, uh... The few ways I can enjoy dying in this game. Everything else pisses me off. <clears throat> so, what you actually need to do is you need to come here. And you need to put the lead bars. She looks like she's trying to hump that thing. put the lead bars on the hand, and therefore they turn into gold bars. Genius, I know. My friend used to have a good point. Now she's looking for the Skion, or Sion, or however it's pronounced. Oh god, that was lucky. <clears throat> Why is my vo uh, voice going froggy today? She's looking for the Sion. Skion. I don't know about you guys, but she's just found a fucking hand that can turn anything put onto it into gold. 
I'd consider that much more valuable than some piece of shit artifact. I'd be bringing like tons of lead back here. As much as I could carry. And you'll notice that Lara is carrying three golden bars. And there's no drop in uh, in movement. She can move freely. So I think that's this level pretty much done. Unless there's an enemy that's probably going to kill me or something. In which case, uh, in which there probably is. It's not that door, it's this door over here I need to go to. So how is this one? Down, three ups, down. Got it. Come on, Lara. Oh, I feel much better now. Ah, oh, fuck me. Genuinely ashamed of how bad I am at playing this game. Three ups. And then that's it. That's it for Midas. We can say fuck you, Midas. I don't know if how free films when you finish a level. Oh god, I hear something running around. Did anyone else hear something running around then? Or is that my own Scaredy Catness. Take the gold bars home, sell them. And that is it. Bye bye, Midas's palace, you fuck. I hate you, Midas. And you deserve everything you got, even your club feet. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you shortly.